everybody, Young Grasshopper here. Welcome to the Clipside Bunker in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And this is a new video series that I'm starting. I'm calling it Tips, Tricks, and Tidbits. So tips, tricks, and tidbits. Um, I want to, in this first episode, show you something that I came up with years ago. It's called Roll Call. And basically, it's just a way of assigning nations to players in a four, five, six player group. Now, obviously, we're not having or seeing groups like that get together. We're all in lockdown pretty much, but there will be a day when we do get together again. I'm I'm sure of it, I'm confident of it. No, but in the past we did this with great success and I wanted to show this to you because I hear out there um, when it comes to assigning nations amongst players how they just pick from a hat. And it's kind of frustrating because there is a better way and I wanna show you what that better way is today in something I call roll call. So let's uh, teleport back in time to when we were getting together, five players, six player groups, and we would meet up in the morning and we would need to assign nations for the upcoming game. And what I would do is I would lay out five piles of roundels. And when everybody shows up, what we do is we just all grab our own stack of roundels and we put them in our hands and we're going to reveal one of them in the palm of our hands all together and that is going to represent the nation that we wish to play that day. Now the reason why I came up with this is because there were some situations where it seemed like one there was an individual avoiding playing with another individual and there was an individual that was always trying to play with their buddy and come up with these strategies and test them together and always be on the same team together. So I kind of wanted to do everything fair. And again, we all have that guy in our gaming group that wants to play Germany all the time, right? Every game, every week, just Germany, Germany, right? So this helps with all of that, okay? And... It's kind of like a random way of doing it, like drawing from a hat, but it's more structured. And I'll tell you, you know, why we need this. So everybody is going to get together and take a stack of roundels. They're going to put one in their hand and we're all together going to like reveal at the count of three. All right. Now, let's go ahead and do roll call round number one. So first roll call. And we've got uh, this guy picks this, this guy picks this, and this guy picks this, this guy picks this. Let's say three people pick that. So, so this guy picked America. He automatically gets it because there's no contention. This guy picks the United Kingdom. He automatically gets it because there's no contention. So right away we've got two individuals that are going to play their first choice, a nation of their first choice. So two happy campers right away. These three are in a tie and they need to go into a round of rolled dice. Now, let's say for example, Mr. Nice Guy here. You know, we'll say Mr. White, Mr. Purple, Mr. Red. Mr. White is Mr. Nice Guy and he says, you know, it's okay, there's too many people that want Germany, that's all right, you guys go ahead and roll and I'll take whatever. So you want to avoid that. Don't let Mr. Nice Guy do that. Tell him he has to roll because, you know, everything in this system is designed so that it doesn't look like somebody's trying to, you know, engineer the teams, right? Um, we want it to be kind of random by picking. I mean, obviously, it's really difficult for this guy and this guy to call each other the night before and say, hey, I'm going to pick... UK, you pick America, even though it worked out that way, let's say this guy says, hey, I'm going to pick uh, Germany and you pick Japan. Well, obviously we're in a three-way tie for Germany. It's not going to work out in your favor. So there's no point in even trying to, to hatch that kind of plan. But here we got a three-way tie. You want to make sure everybody rolls so that you know, let the dice decide what the teams are going to be, right? So Mr. White, Mr. Purple, Mr. Red. Highest roll gets it. And we have Mr. Red. He's going to get Germany. So right away, we've got three players that are happy because three 
players are playing nations, which was their first choice, which is not always the case when you're pulling from a hat, just randomly pulling from a hat, right? Now, this is random, but it's more structured so that, you know, individuals are actually, you know, playing what they want to play or what they think that they might have a strategy that they want to try and therefore they want to play the UK to sort of practice that strategy and therefore a reason why they want to take it. Now, these two are going to go into roll call um, again, second round of roll call. Let's say, you know, obviously... There's only Russia and Japan left. Now, let's just assume both players don't want to play Russia. And they both pick Japan. So, obviously, they're going to go into roll call to find out who plays Japan. Now, if this guy doesn't like this guy, doesn't want to play with him, then that's easy. Just go ahead and pick Russia and you're on the Allies, right? But... We're not kind of like that as a group, even though some groups can be. I mean, really, it's just like playing a pretty cool nation other than Russia, right, for some people. Not saying that Russia's not popular. It's just I like to pick Russia sometimes. It's just the majority of people would prefer something like Japan. So they're going to roll highest wins, and Mr. White gets Japan, okay? Now, Mr. White... Okay, Mr. Nice Guy, he was going to bow out and let these guys roll for whatever. He was going to take whatever. He was going to end up with Russia, right? But the dice determined that Mr. Nice Guy was going to play Japan and play with the German player, right? So this is just a great way of just determining who plays who. And look at all five of these guys. There's no, there's no argument. There's no denying that it was random. It was random the way that they picked who they wanted to play. And the dice determined who the teammates were going to be in the end, right? So nobody is sitting here saying, that's not fair. I'm always stuck with this guy. This guy always plays Germany. That's not fair. So this is roll call. Now, we did have a, sm a slight house rule when we were getting together a lot, you know, a year ago, two years ago. And when we were doing five player, six player games, we were getting together a lot consistently, um, like two games, three games per month. What we implemented was that you couldn't choose in the first round of roll call, you couldn't choose the nation that you played the game before. So just for that first initial round of roll call, right? Like, you know, not always Germany, 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 right? So... The first initial, when everybody's revealing for the first time, your roundel cannot be the nation that you played the game before. Now, if it ends up later in the second round after roll call that it's available or the dice determine that you're playing that, then that's fine, right? So just a little helpful tip for you guys that are looking for ways to assign players. This has worked great for our group. And again, I mean, I can only hope and pray that we're going to get to a point where we can all just get together in big groups and chuck dice again together. I think it's just really vital to our to our well-being and sanity <laughs> that we be able to get back to doing that. And, uh, you know, just want to uh, just want to say right now that I watched a video earlier today about my good friend Hambone who came down with COVID. And I just wanted to say how grateful I am that he's feeling better. And these are tough times and obviously it's easy to talk about when five players get together to do a game and how we're gonna pick nations. But the reality is, is that we just can't right now. And kind of heartbreaking to talk about it, knowing how much we miss it, but I just wanted to mention how grateful I am that my good friend is uh, coming out of that. He's not 100%, but, you know, I think he's out of the woods. And I can't imagine what he was going through. So, just, um, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, cheers. Hopefully that was helpful. And may all your rules be ones. Take care and see you in the next vid.